Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, reading Supergirl, Being Super, issue number one. Now, this is a double-sized issue. Now, this is a really big book, right? double size. Unfortunately, not a whole lot happens for us guys. I get the feeling this book is actually meant for the uh, female of our species. I'm <laughs> not entirely sure, but maybe even for older women, because they reference Dolly Parton. Yes, any... Younger ladies who are listening to this, <laughs> who also read the book, and like, who's Dolly? Who's this country person called Dolly? What? I don't get it. Yeah, they're talking about Dolly Parton. Uh, just, yeah. Anyway, guys, <laughs> there's a few references here that I get the feeling a lot of people aren't going to get. But either way, there are some references that I didn't get for crying out loud. But either way, it is a pretty good book. It's mostly about, you know, girls growing up, going through weird things. And she is Supergirl. It's Kara Danvers. But, you know, it's not quite the same Supergirl story that you and I have read in the past. So they're putting a bit of a spin on it. I'm actually okay with it. I don't have a problem. I like the way that they're doing certain things with this. She seems to be going through some kind of super hormones. I don't know if it's actually going to be explained. It would be nice. Like she had a zit. And I thought, I didn't think that super people could get zits, you know, Kryptonians and Daxians. I didn't think they could get zits, you know, especially specifically when they're under the yellow sun and all that. But whatever, this zit, she wound up popping it the next day and green goo went all over the bathroom. No joke. Took her three hours to clean the darn thing. So yeah, ew. <laughs> but nonetheless, it was interesting in many parts. It ends with her having to use her powers with her, you know, she's got some cool friends that she's hanging out with, but she has to use her powers, but she has to find a way to use them without them knowing that she has these powers. Some kind of rumbling happens on the track field, and her one friend falls into a fissure in the ground. Her next friend, it looks like, I don't know, is she going to be trampled? Is she also falling through a fissure? It, it's hard to tell because they really get it all sorts of messed up at the end. Anyway, this is a good book. It's, it's fun to read. I think that, you know, the younger ladies are going to enjoy reading this a little bit more, but it was still fun nonetheless. I'm going to give this book a B. I didn't have any real problem with this book at all, except that I could tell that it probably just wasn't tailored for me, which is fine, is fine. Just, you know, maybe a disclaimer next time? <laughs> nah, nobody would read it that way. Anyway, guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, class dismissed.